Hey guys, I'm Jaden Dupree, and today I am doing a video on my new pocket reducers. And a lot of you guys have been saying that my pockets are buckets, and they are. I do not deny that whatsoever. If I can find my cue wall, here we go. My pockets are buckets. So I'm going to take this pocket reducer out. See, two balls can fit right here. Two balls fit right there. Uh, so we have space for both balls to fall in. Now if we put this pocket reducer in, just like that, just slide that in there. Now, two balls will not fit at all. It's only about one and a quarter of a ball that will fit into this pocket. Uh, so we have a much smaller gap, and if you hit the side of this, it will not react like a normal pocket. You have to go straight into this pocket. You cannot hit that side or it will rattle, as you see there. So, this improves your shot making ability by light years. And I've only shot with them for a few days now, and my shot is already getting better. Uh, they are frustrating because you will miss shots that you are not accustomed to missing. Uh, so I'm going to show you a few little training tactics that will help you improve your game. A lot of people will ask me, how much are these? Are they worth it? These were about $40, and I would say yes, they are very worth it. It's a quick improving of your game. So first... We are going to start with one of the simplest ways that you can improve your game play right here. Oops, I dropped my 10 ball. So first just throw out a bunch of random balls on the table. Kind of spread them apart. We'll go up there. And you can shoot them in any order. And all we're gonna focus on it's just potting the ball. So just keep focusing on potting the ball. And you see shots like this would be really easy on regular pockets. But you see it becomes much tougher. Because normally we would have to we would aim for over here, but I know I can't hit there. So this forces you to play perfect position. So we are going to go there, and I want to go around this nine. See, that is a great example of a shot that would go straight in on a regular table, and then right here, because of this rubber, it just misses. So you also want to try to shoot some combinations. Uh, try to shoot some bank shots. These shots along the rail don't go in. Um, I, it just doesn't. I don't know if I've installed them wrong. Or, like, I know that wouldn't have gone in on a regular table, but normally those do not drop. And you see that was right in the hole. And if you just scrape it just a little bit, you're going to miss. And this is frustrating. Just the important part is not giving up on yourself. Not just taking the pocket reducers out. If you start to get to a missing streak like I have here, and you're just hitting them, give yourself ball in hand, and try to calmly run out the rest. If you have a cluster, break it up. Uh, if you have a ball near a rail, break it up, because we know those don't drop unless I have it installed wrong. And the only complaint I have is when I bridge over, if I sometimes have to bridge over the spring. See, I'm going to try to get this five to drop. And they just don't go in off of that. Uh, so it is, it's tough to watch that just be on a perfect route and then just stop right at the rubber. Let's go ahead and try to clear these up. Simple 2-5 combo. 
leaves the two right there. The side pockets are easier to make them in. Try to get down here for the side. And there we go. So that is the first drill that you can do to improve your shot making with the pocket reducers. And let's get to the second drill that uh, completes your shot making and your position play. So this drill is going to be very tough. Uh, it's Especially if you're not used to pocket reducers. Like I'm not used to these pocket reducers. I'm still trying to figure out like what I can get away with and what I can't. So I'm going to get some balls out. And what we're going to do, I think I need eight balls. And I'm not going to use the sides. So we're going to put odd number of balls at one end. Like so. And then even number of balls at the other. Let's go like that. So this forces us to play pretty good position off of these balls. And this can be tough. Uh, so running this drill is not very easy. So I have to think about the angle to get onto the next shot. Uh, I'll bluff myself over a pocket reducer spring. See, those shots are just a nuisance. I don't, I don't like those. So, set up the shot again. And try to make it. We've left ourselves long. So we have to use quite a bit of left spin to steer this cue ball off that rail. So we're going to set up that same shot and shoot it again. And this really does improve your position play and control because you have to set up four shots that you pretty much have to be really close to the ball uh, to make the shot easy. See this shot the problem with this shot is look at the gap that you have. If you hit this, you're going to rattle. If you hit this, you're going to rattle. So we have a very small little gap to shoot this into. I'm going to try this one more time. If I don't get this, I'm going to work on this shot a lot after this video. So we got it in that time. And then you just keep running four or five. Six, seven, eight. I'm going to see if I can get away with a high power spin shot. And we can. Normally, you don't want to move the balls. So let's just put this one back. And we've left ourselves a fairly tough shot on that six and there really is no way to shoot this so for the sake of the length of this video we're going to do ball in hand and I always like a power in the last shot even though it can cause it to miss it feels really good if it goes in so that's just something that I like to do, uh, even if it doesn't go in, if it bounces off of the pocket reducers, it does feel good. And a shot that I do recommend you start practicing with these are these long corner shots. These ones can be a real problem. So I like to shoot these hard, just like that. And you can tell that I practiced those uh, with these pocket reducers in already. Most of the shots that you just saw there, 
I did not practice, so I'm still getting familiar with those. Uh, but yeah, that is it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like down below. Uh, if you want to be notified when I post a new video, you can click the subscribe button and then the bell icon right next to it. That'll just send you an email and a notification saying that I've uploaded a new video. Uh, a lot of you guys might wonder where I got these. I got these off of Amazon. If you just search pocket reducers on Amazon, you should be able to find them. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.